All right, so this is my first um, eighth of a section. I'm finger parting, so I don't have problems with gaps later. Um, so I'm just going to divide this section into half, kind of make sure that both sides are pretty even. Um, sorry, I'm struggling with mirror issues. Okay, that's fine. So this is the section I'll be doing my first Bantu knot out on. Um, so because it should be fully tangled, I'm going to try to use a, a smaller tooth comb to comb it. And just start from the bottom, take my time. So, I'm just going to use like two or three drops of oil. I really don't need that much. Yeah, so three drops is a little smaller than dime size. Um, I'm just going to rub that through. Make sure I get the ends. I thought my ends would be really raggedy, but they're actually... Not that bad. Tell me if I'm lying, but I don't think they're that bad. Alright, slip down the middle. Um, it wasn't really down the middle. But. Okay, so I'm going to twist really tightly at the bottom because if you like twist too loosely at the bottom, your curl is going to start like halfway down your hair and then the um, root will be really thick and bushy and while I do want volume I don't want like an afro with some waves at the end. Does that make sense? Um, so I'm just going to start twisting just in one direction so tightly at the bottom You also want to make sure your two parts are even so okay, so that um, you don't want to exchange hairs towards the end because that leads to frizziness when you're separating. So here I've twisted all the way to the bottom. So I'm kind of just twirling my finger around the end to make it stay a little bit, although it's not doing it as much as it would if my hair was wet. Um, and then take it around, start wrapping the uh, struggle. <laughs> okay, wrap, wrap, and as I'm wrapping, I'm retwisting the bottom. Um, wrap again. Okay, let's see if it stays on its own. It stayed on its own, so this is my first Bantu knot up close and personal, um, and I'll finish the other ones and come back and show you, and then I'll definitely show you, come back during the takedown. So, stay tuned. Hey guys, I'm back. I'm not naked. I'm wearing a strapless dress. So I'm about to undo these Bantu knots. Um, of course I'm late. The usual. <laughs> But, so basically they've been in my hair for seven hours, so hopefully they're set and all, and I'm just unpinning everything. I did a total of 16 Bantu knots, and I had to bobby pin them because they weren't staying on their own. And, so depending on how the curl comes out, you can very or yeah you can change up the way that the curl looks based on how tight you do the twist how big your sections are um how tight you wrap the twist around in this like ball thingy um all of those will change will affect how tight your curls are and stuff so i'm gonna start undoing them um get some oil on my fingers 
going to oil my hands a little bit. That color looks nice. So just untwist a little bit. Untwist at the base. And there you go. We'll fluff in a little bit. So I'm just going to go off camera and finish this up. All right, girls, this is the final result. I really, really love it. It's giving me some Joan Clayton right now. Um, not Joan Clayton. I meant Tracy Ellis Ross, but you guys know what I meant. I'm just pinning down the front a little bit to make a little bang. It was too, the middle part was a little too much for me, but I like it pinned to the side. So there it is. Um, if I like feel up to it when I come back, I'm already running late. I will take some still shots, but hope you like it. Ask me any questions, leave comments down below and everything. Bye.